Hello and welcome back to the next of the series of Monster Hunter Portable Third. I'm MH Geek and let us carry on. So yeah, it's, uh, the first the first of the series was kind of boring. I apologize, but well, I would like to you know make longer videos and stuff, but my computer has its limitations. <laughs> I don't think it can process. Um, videos longer than 30 minutes at any one point of time so I'm trying to limit my episodes within that and yes um, as I said the last time I would like to bring along um, bark nets and pickaxes so I can actually you know capture stuff along the way whoa so messy let me just manage this iron because old I'll just use all of these old pickaxes first as well as the bark nets and uh, well why not just grab this um, hmm, what else do I need? I don't really need much right now. Whoa, yep, I can deposit this, deposit this, 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 um, this, this. All this non... not nonsense, but unessential stuff. Sort up the items, okay. Um, there's no need for me to bring potions or... What you call it, um, mega potions right now because... I feel like the monsters are still pretty weak, I can handle myself pretty fine, and in the low rank quests, they still provide you with um, first aid kits. First aid, first aid mats, yeah, first aid mats, not first aid kits. <laughs> so yes, once again I'm here with my bow, my trusty Yukumo bow that has been upgraded already, uh, once only at least. And I'm just going to grab all these empty files and poison coating because um, they'll be useful in the future, definitely. And here we go, we're gonna have to hunt um, Boodrooms. So I'm just gonna just, you know, kill a couple of Gargoa for their raw meat because it's useful always. Right. We're just gonna crouch and um, gather the stuff. Herbs. It drops herbs? Okay. Interesting. Good to know. <laughs> So yeah, um, crouching and carving slash gathering is a, uh, it makes you do it faster than when standing. So um, there have been many people out there that have already done this comparison and uh, video recordings and stuff. And yes, it is uh, it's a fact. So do do it for the added little time saving bonus feature. Although I I do I do hear of news that in Monster Hunter Cross, you are able to um, continually gather materials, so I'm not sure how it works, and uh, I do not wish to spoil the game for myself, so I do not wish to actually check it out just yet. But in the future, when uh, Monster Hunter Cross is you know confirmed to be releasing and re releasing releasing in the West, um, then yes, I'll definitely go and check it out. Aha, uh -huh, that sneaky juggy down there trying thing trying to get me, thinking that he can. But no, not today. Okay, there you go, Boodrum. Whoa! Dodge! Like a ninja! Shooting him in the butt! And he's dead. Yeah! How do you like that butt shot? It's gotta be a new thing, man. 360 no scope butt shot. <laughs> my god, my jokes are lame. They stink. Like the butt! Oh my god. Stop, stop it. Stop it, Ivan, stop it. Okay, um, grabbing more honey because, as I said, honey is always useful. Mm, anything else in the area which could be useful? Uh, more wood? I don't think I need more wood for now, but um, uh, let me just grab a few in case. Oh, there's mushrooms there. I'll just grab one more wood. And the mushroom next. Yes, mushroom. Blue mushrooms can be made um, into more than just potions, but I can't remember what else do they combine with to give anything else, which is a bad thing on my part, but okay. As I said, I'm not some MLG pro, I, I don't remember every single thing in the crafting list. <laughs> and I don't know, as in, I don't. I cannot guarantee that I will not cart in every single fight. Although I hope that would be, you know, a thing. 
not carting. Oh, um, whoa. I think the other blue fangos are here, are they? Let's take a look. Nope, there's only gargoyles here. Um, let's check area number 9. Are you there? There's one. Sweet. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna shoot you right in the face. Oh, oh, oh my god, that miss. That was MLG miss. Is he? Oh, he's finally angry. Alright, time to turn around and shoot him in the butt. There we go. Carve him, and what do we get? Bufango pelt. Not sure how useful is it, but um, I'll take it. Hmm, more honey. Is there a mining vein nearby? I believe, I believe there's one somewhere around. I'm not too sure. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll mine when I see one. Hmm, is that one? Nah, it's not. Oh, well, the cracks make it seem like one, but. Me. Oh, I know there's one here. Yeah, there's one here. I remember this one. Ah, damn, my pickaxe broke. Oh, but then again, it's an old pickaxe. I don't see why it would not break. Meshal me meshalite ore. Iron ore. Oh, my. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, wow, wow. Wow. You sneaky little banabra. Eat that. Oh, my god, it's not dead. Oh, it exploded. Okay. Oh wow, wow, wow! Wow, the that that dodge by the Banabra. Oh, 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 stop, stop. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, I can't even hit it with midi. All right, all right. Nope, nope. I'm out. I'm out. I'm not gonna bother chasing you for the next twenty minutes. Nope. And I'm just gonna go find the last. Bufang the last few Bufangos I guess. How many do I need actually? Yeah, one more. Just one more Bufango and you know, get out of here. Where would it be? Um, have I checked area 2 yet? I have not and there he is. There we go. Shooting him in the butt first this time. And then the hit. And dodging that. And now I'm gonna shoot him right at the side. Huah! There we go. And yes, as I said, um, this screen showing like the the tiny cutscene of the monster dying in a very painful way, you can actually skip it by pressing the select button on your PSP or the equivalent on your controller or whatever kind of controller you're using. So yeah, gathering more blue mushrooms which are always useful. All kinds of materials are useful to a new hunter. And oh yes, there's another mining vein here. There we go. Ping! What do we get? Stone. Not useful. Whetstone. Useful for a blade master. Stone. Not very useful again. Uh, the big X broke. And I got a whetstone. Darn it. Darn it. Oh, iron ore. Now that's more useful. Ah, okay. But at least I can sell whetstones, I guess. I mean, if I'm gonna, like, main as the... Main as a bow user... I will not be using whetstones very often, so yeah. Okay, here we go. Completed the quest. Quest clear. I'm gonna just gather everything because why not? And I believe there's still quite a bit of time so I shall proceed with one more quest and I believe this quest has quite a surprise oh nothing found okay so this quest oh whoops this quest basically needs you to gather five royal honey and deliver it but what they did not tell you is that there's a surprise waiting for you. I mean, well, the quest title sort of gives it away the Harbinger of Terror. So you would expect something else is going to be coming and getting you. And yeah. Well, not exactly getting you, but you get the idea. 
And oh, interestingly enough, I did not realize this, but the the Yukumo bow can actually equip the poison coating. <laughs> uh, I'll take note of that, and I should actually use it. All right, so right before we head into the next area, where we'll be be able to find the uh, honey, I shall pop a ration and be ready to face the harbinger of terror. So here we have the nice, beautiful, silent night. And there, honey. Until... Oh! What is this? A big blue bear? Ow, oh, whoa. He's huge. Yep. And he's there stealing our delicious honey. That cannot be. So, first off, I'm just gonna go and equip the poison arrows. Alright, and here we go. So he has not noticed me yet, up until now. And I'm just gonna launch an arrow straight into his face. He is doing his combat roar. And oh, oh big scary roar. I'm just gonna launch more. Oh, I poisoned him already, okay. That's sweet. I'm just gonna remove the coating so I save them for another time. Alright, so basically, more about the Azuros. So, is uh, as you can see, uh, this big blue bear who is uh, obsessed with honey. Oh, whoa, that, that missed, okay. And he, he lumbers around pretty slowly for most of the part. And yes, charges at you, misses quite often as long as you keep moving. And yes, he likes to give bear hugs just like that. So, okay, get out of the way. So, his breakable parts are most noticeably the arm. So as you can see, his armored arms, um, they look pretty deadly with those gauntlet-like feel to them. And I will be trying to break those because why not? And to do that, I'll have to try and hit the arms more accurately. And yep, there he goes with fury swipes. Oops, um, should I, can I actually say that? I mean, it's a Pokemon thing, but yeah. Oh, the poison wore off, so when I get another chance, I'll try and equip the poison arrows again and poison him once again. Oh, whoops, wrong button. Don't mind me. Uh, okay, three times and shoot you in the arm or the belly, whatever. Okay, what, where are you going? Hey, 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 I'm here, I'm here, where are you going? Don't, don't leave me! Well, whatever, at least I have time to with the poison arrows and I can actually go and do the actual quest which is to collect the royal honey. So do remember that um, if you are actually unable to defeat the bear at this point of time in the game, do not worry because your actual goal is just to collect royal honey. So you can just do that, um, ignore the bear, I mean if you, well, at least chase him out of the area first before you try attempting, you know, to collect the royal honey because he will wreck you if you don't do that. So yeah, after you chase him off, collect your royal honey. And if you're too lazy and can't be bothered to kill him, go ahead, just deliver them to the um, to the red storage box, and you're done. So, but I want materials from him, so I will be trying to kill him. And that was kind of lucky, I sort of messed up there with the buttons once again. Oh my god, that was a pathetic miss. They just wasted one coding right there. Alright, just trying to break his arms. He's gonna roar. Take the opportunity to try and break his arms again. Yeah, I shot him in the face, so that wasn't counted. Okay, trying to aim for the arms. There we go. Whoa! That was a nice pounce. No, uh, well, you can't, I don't... Is that even a pounce? Okay, I'm just gonna try aiming again, and... He isn't actually very good at aiming, don't you think? Aim before I get wrecked. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's gonna swipe or not? Oh, he's poisoned once again, but meh. I'll just, yeah, I'll save the tree coatings for another time. Can you, you know, show me your arms that, so that I can break them? 
Yes. Oh, also, if you see that, uh, if, you, if you noticed earlier, he's actually drooling right now. That's a sign that he's fatigued. What I mean by fatigued is basically, monsters too, they have a, a sort of a stamina bar that we cannot see, and every time they attack, they use that stamina. And as such, when they deplete their stamina to a certain extent, they would have to sort of eat things to replenish that stamina. Either that, or if they get angry again and rage, they, they will sort of get a, a little tiny bonus bar which, oh wow, it fell, okay. Um, yeah, anyway, so uh, as I was saying, if they get angry, they'll sort of temporarily regain their stamina again. But... Oh no, no, ouch! Damn it. I was not intending to get hit. You shall pay by having me break your arms or not. Damn, how- oh. He fell again. I actually uh, find that quite annoying because it doesn't give me room to hit his arms. Oh my god, that was so close. He jumped over me. Oh, he's limping. Yep, he's really, really weak right now. So I should be killing him fairly soon. He flinched over there. And he's angry. And I still have yet to break his arms. I feel disappointed. Ah, I missed. Can I get his arms? Oh no. Oh, oops. He's dead! Oops. Poison OP! <laughs> My god, I am terrible. It's alright though. We got him good. So yes. Um, I'm supposed to deliver 5 royal honey for this quest. And I do have... Where, where is it? Five, six, six royal honey. All right, so that is it. I'm just gonna head straight back to base and turn in the quest. And I did get an Azuros as well. So this is a uh, this is going well. Not too bad for a start. I can see that this hunter is gonna make its way into glory and victory and. Someday take over the world or some nonsense, I don't know. Get out of the way, Jagia. Out! Okay, thank you actually. You saved me the animation time of standing up. <laughs> just wanted to get a that just that one blue mushroom there. Okay, so area one, one more area to go to base camp. And base camp, base camp. There we go. So here, Royal Honey delivered. And for having that bonus extra 1 Royal Honey, I get a uh, extra 120 coins, uh, Zenny, and 120 points. Yukumo points, that is. And this cat is a transporter cat. So what he does is basically, um, if any point of time during a mission, or a quest, you find that your inventory is full, you can come over to this guy and you can get him to send some items back to your item storage chest, which is back in the village. So in any case, um, that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you again. <laughs>